don't mind me. Do not mind me. I've not showered. I dropped my mom off. She's getting her nails done. That's the sun. Sunshine over my shoulder makes me happy. Sunshine on my water. See, I'm not afraid of the sun. They tell you to be afraid of the sun. I'm not afraid of the sun. Okay, hold on. I'm not afraid of the sun. They're su you're supposed to be afraid of the sun. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Sunshine all the way. Twitter sucks. It's no fun. They've ruined it. Just like movies are ruined. Just like MySpace was ruined. Twitter sucks. They're all bullies. You can't say anything. That's why I go on here. I'm embarrassed to say I work for Chelsea lately. It's embarrassing. These people are traitors. I really think they're traitors. And that might be the trigger. I've told you this before. Somebody is going to freak out and mess with a with a, something with Hollywood. I'm telling you. I've said that. Now, it's gone to traitors. That's something where people do not like. They truly don't like that. But what do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Are we on? Trader Joe's. But don't mind me. I'm just going to focus on my comedy. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'm out. I'm almost out. You know? So it's just you go on there. It just brings me down. It bums me out. I'm a good guy. And it bums me out. Should I be bummed? I'm, I'm bummed out because I'm white. I'm bummed out because I was born Jewish. What the hell? I'm bummed out because I'm a Gemini. Is that wrong? Is it racist to be a Gemini? Am I supposed to have Gemini guilt? I can't take these people anymore. Just not fun. This loser. I nodded at him and he didn't do anything. Another doe, probably an Antifa type. Can't deal with looking at him. I can look in your eye and tell what you're going through. But they don't. They'll be unhappy. I think it will end bad for him. Tell me a country where it's working out. It ain't. So I have Gemini guilt. I have Jewish guilt. I have white. I don't even know what I am. People. I work in show business. I perform in Los Angeles. I'm letting you know. Don't fall for it. Don't let the loud mouths speak for everybody because there's plenty of people there's plenty of people who aren't tweeting so do not let loud mouth hateful types because that's what they are they're haters you know why they're haters they just and they're not they're not around baseball they're not allowed you can't bring negative hateful energy around a major league baseball team you're out they don't want you they want you out. You love them. They don't love you. You think this way. They think that way. Who's more impactful on society? They are. You didn't win the World Series. The Cubs won the World Series. And the Cubs don't think like you. But you love them. You want to be with them. It's all fake. Paid audience members. Tell them when to applaud 
it's all don't live in the valley, but they do all their shows in the valley. It's crap. But I can't say anything. I, I mean, I can't believe some of these frickin' pussy comedians that I know, that I'm uh, that I'm friendly with, and they're white guilt. So I got picked on by blacks the most. I'm so that's, that's how it was supposed to be. Fuck that. I did my time. I went to public school. Fuck you. People are pissed, man. You're siding with a frickin' North Korea guy. All right. I don't get gigs. Because, I don't know. I can't tell you why. I just don't know. Sunshine. But... Somehow I was able to hang out with Eddie Vedder. Somehow I'm able to hang out with the Cubs. Somehow I'm able to work with Rick and Morty. But I'm wrong. I'm bad. I'm negative. I don't get it. I'm white. I'm Jewish. I'm Gemini. All terrible things. Yet, I got to be with Eddie Vedder. Yet, I get to be with the Cubs. Yet, I get to perform at the comedy store. Yet, I get to work, work with Rick and Morty. Yet, I was in the hangover. But my thinking's wrong. F you. Name a show right now that's happening. They're done. I'm right. But go ahead. You know more than me. You've done the 3,000 television warm-ups. You're a comedian working the clubs. You've done it 25 years. You know more than me. Just getting some steps. That's, I mean, I can't even go on Twitter. I have to hide out on Periscope. A good guy, me, I have to hide on Periscope because of white guilt, because of Gemini guilt, because of being born Jewish or whatever it is. I have to hide on Periscope. Is that fair? Is that right? Does that seem normal as it stinks back here? It doesn't. I'm afraid to tweet. I should show you how many, how many saved tweets I have. How many saved tweets I have. Because I don't want the problem. I'm already not working. Yes, I can't speak freely. I mean, I can, but then I'd get freaking hammered. And I don't want it. So I'll just go on Periscope. I'm telling you, I think I'm right, but go ahead. Do what they do, SBS, and call them anti-Semites when they attack you. It's not worth it. Hollywood is full of anti-Semites. That would, that, would, that would get them going. Am I supposed to have Gemini guilt? That will be my next tweet. I'm just afraid to tweet. I'm afraid to tweet. It's 2017, and I'm a comedian, and I'm afraid to tweet. There you go. So let Chelsea, who's a multimillionaire, doesn't care about you. She was always nice to me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I. I have no problems with Chelsea on that level. But now that she's a traitor, that's bad. I can't go against traitors. I mean, I can't be with traitors. I don't care if you're, if my mom was a traitor, I'd, I'd leave her here getting her nails done. See ya. Goodbye, mom. You're a traitor. You, you want to be with Kim Jong-il, mom? Then walk home from the nail place. It's a joke, man. These guys, these guys, I guarantee you, these, these comedians talking on Twitter, negative about whatever, they've never been punched in the face. And that's going to change. If Jimmy Kimmel can talk about punching so-and-so, I can talk about punching a comedian 
who I don't like your tweets. I don't like what you're doing. Would you would you enjoy that if I punched you? Oh, I don't like your tweets. Boom. F you. Just like I did to that guy in Austin, Texas. Beat the crap out of him. Because when you're doing it for good, when you have the spirit behind you, you can kick evil's ass. And I kicked that that fat Antifa's ass. And it felt great. It felt great. So if, if they can talk about violence, I can talk about violence. So there you go. I front kicked that guy. I beat his ass. And I'm ready to beat ass again. I'll punch a comedian. Don't think I won't. I'm getting sick of it. If Jimmy Kimmel talk about beating up that guy, I can talk about beating up a comedian who I don't like their tweets. You bum me out. I'm going to punch you. you can't. Yes, I will. What are you going to do? Tell your mommy? Are you going to get me suspended? It's freedom of speech, man. You can say what you want, and I can react how I want. Don't think I won't do it. And I'll get positive publicity. Kicking your ass. You're pissing me off. I can't even go on Twitter anymore. I got freaking 50 saved drafts. Because I'm afraid. I think you won't do it. Well, you just got blocked. I've already done it. A-hole. It's, pos it's punching for positivity. I punch for positivity. F them. Anyway, thank you. Oh, you love me. Thank you. LOL, thank you. And here's the deal. I'm just a conduit for other guys. You think I'm the only one saying this? On I'm not. I'm just giving you information I get from other people that don't have a Twitter, that aren't on Periscope, that are afraid to say it. I'm afraid to say it on Twitter, not afraid to say it on, on Periscope. They can't play baseball. Put a bat in your hand. Put a fucking bat in your hand. Try to hit me. You can't. Let's sit right here. I'm so pissed right now. I'm sitting. You see how negative this is? I could have had fun with it. Punch the air. Don't punch people, but spreak. F you. I punch people. I, I say F you now. I curse because that's what you're allowed to do on Twitter. You could say the F word. These guys all say F this, F that, F you. So I say it. Why not? Very negative today, SBS. That's almost a blockable offense. You're negative by bringing up that I'm negative. Two negatives. Don't make it positive. But you're still a good eye to me. Yeah, they want to put you on drugs. They want to put you on Seroquel and Depakote. Don't rock the boat. They want to turn you into a zombie. Not me. Not me. I got on. Depakote, I got off Seroquel, and the Cubs started winning. I got off Depakote, I got off Seroquel, and I did Conan. I got off Depakote, I got off Seroquel, and I did a special that will never be aired. I got off Depakote, I got off Seroquel. Why am I on Google Street View? Why me? Why was I chosen? Let me read some of your comments. Look, I represent the regular, I talk to people that don't say anything. So I'm right. When I feel this way, sorry. Twitter, why is Twitter no fun now? What did I do? Let me read your comments. I think you're a closet Cardinals fan. You got off those drugs, Broden Nestor stopped. Well, that's a good trade off. Underground Twitter camouflage show. I don't have a selfie stick today. I'm using my. Brody, can you do 10 minutes at La Brea Tarpets? I certainly can. 
It's all but. Is that Phil? Phil Henry. If that's Phil, that guy gets it. He understands comedy. If that's Phil Henry. I love Phil Henry. He's a father figure to me. Brody, this is a podcast every day, and I want to say thank you. Well, the biz is a circus, and you got off the merry-go-round. Phil is the best. I love Phil Henry. Is that Phil? I don't think so. Because that's not Phil's photo. I want him to get famous. Brody, did you try out a game? Um... Yes, Joker's Wild. They said I was too hyper. I auditioned for Joker's Wild. They said I was too hyper. <sighs> Defend yourself with a Slurpee straw. Funny. Another joke I created. I've created Dice Guy. I've created Daisy. I've made my mother a celebrity. I was in Hangover 2. I was on... been on Tosh and Kroll. But I can't say anything on Twitter without getting backlash. It's not fun at all. But you know what I'll do? Using your selfie hand. That's it, you know. I don't have much more to add today other than uh, I'm helping my mother out. And I will be in L.A. tonight. I have a couple shows. I'll be at the Comedy Store. I'm at the Comedy Store tomorrow. Uh, I'm doing a couple shows. on Twitter needs to be locked down like Facebook is doing. I don't know what they. I don't know what it needs. People hate the truth, Brody. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm just being honest. I've done 3,000 television audience warm-ups. I've been in the belly of the beast. I've been on a major league baseball field. I've hung out with millionaire athletes and millionaire comedians, or millionaire and the athletes get it. They have to perform, a hundred, some of these players have to perform 162 games a year in front of 30,000 people. These comedians can't do it. And you still can't get mainstream. I don't know. I'm just, I'm probably going to go get a job in baseball. Dump Twitter, get hooked on phonics. No honesty allowed. Confirm and obey. Selfie sticks are very slippery. Liptard is a word for dweebs. I don't know what it is. I, I mean, I went to public high school. I got picked on. So I, I, I've done my time. I've done my time. Public high school. White guy in South Central L.A., Jewish guy in Arizona. I've done my time. So I don't need to have you tell me to have white guilt, white privilege, whatever. F you. And that's going to make me punch you. You get that? I can punch you because I have white privilege. That's what's going to happen. If I see your frickin' white privilege tweets, I'm going to get in your face. And I'm going to put it on video. How does that sound? I have nothing to lose. You have to lose. You have jobs to lose. I watch your Twitter. You're doing great. You're doing great. You have jobs to lose. I don't. So if you're going to pull that white guilt bullshit, I'm going to take my phone film it and tell you to fuck off then if you push back against me you're going to get punched what do you want I'm sorry SBS fangirl I'm sorry SBS fangirl this is what this is what the left created they've created this why would somebody lost their job if they told you white guilt? Are you mad at me? No, come on. I'm so tired of these idiots saying stuff. What's that neck twitcher? Tommy Lasorda at IBS. But whatever. Pull it. Started with Janet Jackson, not Barack Obama. Brody kicked the liberal's ass so you get another vacation. That's funny. They threw me in the UCLA psych ward. They can't handle anything. 
they're evil, just smile. Do you know what it's like to spend 17 days in the UCLA site ward and you're going, why am I here? Why am I here? They put me on antibiotic, I missed my med, and they press my buttons. Why am I here? Do you notice? Do you notice that nothing's happened before or since? Nothing. But I'm the guy who gets thrown into the hospital for 17 days. Me. Put on major drugs. I'm off the drugs. I'm happier. Since I went off drugs, the Prince of Periscope was created. I mean, give me a break, man. It's a joke. It's a joke. 17 days. I got thrown into the UCLA psych ward. Have you seen anything on here that would make you believe that, oh, this guy needs to be in a psych ward? That's what happens. It's a joke. They did. They called the cops on me. Don't you understand? They set me up. It was fucking bullshit. Yeah, the Cubs would let a guy who's psycho hang out with them. You know, that's why I put that's why I put stuff on Periscope. I put stuff on Periscope. Yeah, it was good publicity. I put stuff on Periscope to make it undeniable. You see my stand up sets. You see me speaking. You see me going to Chicago. What can I do? I didn't see one comedian at Wrigley Field other than Tom Dreesen throwing out the first pitch. Where are they? You don't think a comedian would want to go hang out at Wrigley Field if you go, hey, I got a field pass, you want to come down? Of course I do. But you can't because you're a hater. You're not even, in, it's not even an option. I lean down the middle. I mean, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm conservative. I have conservative values because a place, it's gone wacko. It's gone wacko. I use Brody as a conduit. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Yeah, that's why I hang out with sports. It's based off merit. Anyway, any other any questions right now? Because I'm going to wrap it up. I got to go eat. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. And they try to bring me down. I'm not. I can't do Toronto. They're not booking me. The only club that books me is the Comedy Store, the number one club in the world. Books me. Nobody else does. I mean, the Improv does or Laugh Factory, but other than that. They don't. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? Thanks for the smiles before I go to work. Thank you. I try to. Take off your shirt. I'm out of shape. You rock. Thank a couple more, then we'll wrap it up. Do a set at Flappers. I should, but I last time I did Flappers, I had twenty I had twelve walkouts. I'm not booked for La Jolla. I have no shows in October. I have no paid gigs in October. I have no paid gigs in November. I have no paid gigs in December. What does that tell you? You think that's fair? Do you think that makes sense? It doesn't. But these are the people that everyone wants to listen to. They want to listen to people. I have no shows. I have no income for three months. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? No, you don't have to give me any money. Can't do it. Didn't you do Helium? One night, they had to book me. He doesn't think I'm funny, the guy from Helium. He won't book me. Mm -hmm.
comedy store puts me up. The comedy store is willing to put their reputation up on the line for me. Other clubs won't. Yeah, the goatee. Thank you, Tom. So, all right, well, I'm going to get going. This is, uh, I got to get something to eat. And I'm also helping my mother out. You don't understand that I'm helping my mother out. Um, I'm a bachelor. I'm by myself. And that's the way it goes. Helping Daisy. I got screwed. Thank you. Have a good day, James. Love your interactions with your mom. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Do UK gigs in the winter? One day, maybe. I know Phil Henry hates Trump. Clean shaven SBS. Thanks, bro. Enjoyed the scope. Thank you. Check out his Twitter. I read his Twitter. Do you re resent Rip Torn? Not a fan. Comedy store has taste as long as you are there. Thank you. You inflate her Uber typer. Straight edge suspended. <laughs> so go on there. Listen to these guys. I'm not saying they're not funny, but that's what you're into. Not you. I'm not talking about you. When I say you guys, I'm not talking about you specifically. Thank you. Three spots at the Comedy Store. Month, I am Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the Comedy Store. Yet, Helium, these Cubs, Helium won't book me. Toronto won't book me. So that's what you get. If that's the best, if you're asking for the best comedy you can get, you're not getting it. Yes, Rip Torn had me fired from Cafe Undu Trois. Is he still alive? A million comedians would kill for three spots at the store. They would. They don't get it because they're haters. Haters need not apply. Get out. You, me friend. You, me friend. Eddie Vedder doesn't hang out with haters. The Cubs don't allow haters full access. It doesn't happen. You can't be a hater and do 3,000 television audience warm ups. It's impossible. But don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Listen to, listen to the bullies on Twitter. White guilt. I don't even, it's, it's American guilt. I have American, I have Gemini American guilt. Is that what I have? Anyway, I'm hungry, so that's what you're getting right now. I'm going to talk to you later. Thank you very much. My mother is getting her nails done. She, my mother is 86. She's done the best job she can do. That's another reason why I won't vote for Hillary. Because my mom stresses me out. I don't need some frick. I don't want to see that person. I don't want to see Hillary Clinton talk. Ever. I told you she was a liar. They kill people. She stole the, she stole the nomination from Bernie Sanders. Those are facts. She stole the nomination from Bernie Sanders. Donna Brazile at CNN gave her the questions for the debates. All these people that have investigated Hillary, they show up dead. These are facts. These are real facts. These aren't fake facts. These are real facts. What has Hillary done? You know what I'm impressed by? I hate to say it, buildings. I don't see Hillary Clinton's name on buildings. Can't do it. That alone, I didn't vote for her. I go, is Hillary's name on a building? Well, her name's on a library. No, out. I don't like her. She doesn't seem healthy to me. She had a frickin' convulsion on 9-11. I can't trust her. Out. I can't, just not into it. You can't deny that she's killed people. And then her husband is a rapist. And then Uma Abedin, her right-hand woman, her husband is mas is is masturbating with a with a girl while her the baby is on the bed. What kind of judgment is that? That's what they call her. That's what it says. You don't, Tommy. You haven't heard Bill Clinton's a rapist. 
I'm not, hey, look, I'm just saying what they say. Bill Clinton is a rapist. That's what you hear. He's raped girls. Look it up. See, Bill Clinton is a rapist. That's wrong, clearly. No, it's not. Look it up. I didn't see Trump rape anybody. Where? Look it up. People don't look it up because you don't listen. Go ahead. Well, you're out. Goodbye. Are you triggered when I say the truth? Tell me, all I do is read. I don't work. Do you understand? All I do is click, read, and listen. That's all I do. Bill Clinton is a rapist. Fact. Hillary intimidated Bill's accusers. Fact. Look it up. But you don't listen to the stuff. You guys only watch CNN, which is a lie. Keep going. No. Sorry, SBS fangirl. I love you, but you're wrong. Nope. I don't think Trump's a rapist. I think Bill Clinton was a rapist. I think Trump was a racist. Sorry. Clinton steal money. They kill people. And Bill Clinton's a rapist. What more do you want? Where is Trump a rape rapist? I don't believe it. Ghost Walker 46. I don't believe it. Where are they? Why did they disappear? Why did they come out of the woodwork all of a sudden? You're wrong. And probably, yeah, I'm a nice guy. How do I feel about people kneeling? What do you think? I think it's terrible. I think it's embarrassing. It doesn't make sense. I don't even give it any thought. Colin Kaepernick talks about he makes $20 million a year, raised by a white family. I don't even deal with it. I'm not into it. I don't even need to think about it. I see somebody not standing for the ovation. You're out. Thank you. You don't think Trump has bad intentions. There you go. That's my point. Perfect. Exactly. He doesn't have bad intentions. Hillary does. Trump supporters are the minority. I don't think so. Trump supporters are people that support the president. I'm a, pre I'm a, I support the president. So I think there's a lot of people out there. I talk to more people than you do. Remember, I travel, I talk, I ask. I was in Chicago last week, Seattle before, Vermont before that, Palm Springs, LA. And you're telling me I don't talk to people? I don't care about 34% approval. That, those numbers don't mean anything. Just like Hillary had a 91% chance of winning. So you mean zero to me. I'm going to keep you. I mean, your opinion doesn't hold water. <laughs> I don't care that he's got a big mouth. I like it. Tell me, why, why, or where's Obama? Where did this guy come from? I want to know about his life. Where was he before he was president? What did he do? We all know what Trump was doing, but Obama, it's all sealed up. What, where, what, what, I mean, I've heard stories about Obama, but you can't find anything on him. People are afraid you can't say anything about Obama because he's half black. That's just a fact. You'll be called a racist. Can't do it. All of Obama's records are sealed. I didn't vote for Obama. I'm independent. I'm American. I, I support America. And I'm not into Muslims. Sorry. Call me a racist. Yeah, I'm a racist. I'm not into the Muslim culture. I don't think it's good. I'm not into cutting off women's genitals. I'm not into throwing gays off the building. And I'm not into raping girls in my Uber. What's wrong with that? Is that okay to say? How many Muslims play baseball? Zero. So I'm not into them.
go back to Muslim land. That's how people feel. You can, oh, be shocked. This is how people feel about it. I'm reading. I'll never be a guest on that show. I do, Team SBS, SBS Fangirl, I have to generalize now. I'm playing, I'm, I'm playing dirty tricks. Just like Malcolm X said, by any means necessary. So I will play by dirty tricks. You wanna, you wanna, that's what you're doing. You're picking a fight with a guy who's willing to go rogue. Okay, I will go rogue. Uh, Crick, I don't know, where's a podcast with Yoshi? It'll be up soon. I'm just not even into podcasting right now. I just want to work in baseball. And uh, no, I'm not into the Jewish stuff. I'm into American stuff right now. Right now, it's more important for me to um, align myself with America than it is with Judaism. Okay? So this year, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm, 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 most, I'm American. I don't need to be a part of a tribe. I'm a part of the American tribe. SBS fangirl, I do spread love. And you know what happens when you spread love? You get picked on. Do you know how, much, how many times I got picked on for being a good guy, smiling as a kid? They called me gay boy, gay, smiley guy, all that stuff. It didn't feel good. And you know who was saying it? Black people. What can I tell you? You want me to lie? They picked on me the most for being friendly. I'm not saying I don't like all black people. I'm just saying, stating a fact. But I'm the bad guy. I have white. I'm white. I'm Jewish. Nice people get picked. Yeah, nice people get picked on. And I'm a gay runner. My sister's a jan janitor. There's assholes in every race. I agree. I agree. Mental illness is rampant. Me too. What is the percentage of brainwashed? 60%? 65% maybe? My sister works in it. Karma will take care of it. Thank you. Don't sweat it. Thank you. I don't want to debate you, Ghost Walker. There's no debate. Go ahead and debate somebody else. I'm right period. So there's no debating. To me, two plus two equals four. I'm not going to debate that. Yes, I'm a Jew. I was born Jewish, raised Gemini. Why did you curse like that? How dare you attack me? I sidekicked a glory hole in Texas. I can't, I didn't see would disagree. I don't care about other countries. All I care about is America. Do you understand? I don't care. I mean, we'll help, but go go to your countries. I was born here. You weren't. Goodbye. This is how people feel. You want me to hold back? This is how people really feel. And I'm a good guy. And I wasn't brainwashed. I've never been arrested, okay? I, I don't molest kids. I'm going on record saying I don't molest kids. I'm also performing at the comedy store tonight. I was also in Hangover 2. See, you got picked on for being too light. Planet Earth. No, this is good and honest, Brody. Thank you. I'm with you, Brody. Keep speaking the truth. One American, two human, <laughs> three white. Scope it, good. Detained but never arrested. People don't like real talk. Oh, snap. That's where I've seen you. Brody is patriotic. Flashlight is <laughs> What's your thought on sexy teachers? Uh, they're all, I, I, the kids are lucky. I mean, they're always attractive. I agree with you, Brody. 
Well, you know, and I'm not perfect. I hate it. Hate is not good. Phil, we don't hate. Hot for teacher. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to say thank you very much. And uh, any other question? Oh, you answered a call. Where are you guys at? Tell me where you're at. Like what cities? Yes. No, I don't. Thanks for your honesty. Thank you. Philadelphia, New Jersey, Phoenix, Seattle, Texas, Canada, 818. Enjoy your day. London, Salt Lake City, Jacksonville. Wait, audio's off? Moreno Valley, that's near here. Boston, Alabama, Long Beach, hour away from Boston, New York, North Carolina, San Antonio. I don't hate anyone. We're all in this together. Thank you, Phil. We are all in this together. Exactly. Dallas, the big D. Yucca, can you put a bow on that rap? I should. No one gets out of this alive. Phil, you're, you are crushing it. You are taking charge. Oh, we have somebody from North Korea. I have to go. Take care, James. You got it, Tommy. Runyon Canyon. Somebody lives in the canyon. Los Angeles. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Liber, li, Liberalville? Liberalville? East Texas. Yes. 609 Jersey. Positive push in the show tonight. You got it. Thank you for letting me speak my mind. I'm not perfect. I did get worked up. At least I'm being honest. And I said some horrific, horrific things on this scope. Anderson's Pea Scoop. Pea Soup. I know where that is. All right, guys. Listen, have a great day. And uh, this is our secret. Don't tell anybody about this. You met a daisy today? Oh, a little daisy. Have a good day. Thank you, Sharon. Is that a new photo, Sharon? Looks like you have, like feathered hair. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. Taking it out is the answers. Oh, talking it out. Marijuana. Oh, here we go. I don't hear anything horrific. I didn't. This may go viral. No, I don't want it to go viral. This is where I've been the whole time. You were like wondering, Brody, where are you? What are you doing? Where are you talking from? Right here. That's all. It's just me. Nobody's here. That's how much I care. That's how much I care about you. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much. I don't know what they would. It's a beautiful day in California. I support the president. If Hillary was in, I'd support her too, believe it or not. I'd want what's best for the country. And if she won the election, fair and square or whatever, she's the president. I, I, I'll take, you're the commander in chief. Don't you see? But they don't do that. They think that the election was stolen. Well, you stole the election. You stole it from Bernie. What do, you, what do you want? It was already, you stole from Bernie. Am I right? Enjoy. Russians rigged it. Who cares? Why would they? Why is it Russians? Why didn't somebody else? Didn't England, why didn't England rig it? Why, why is it Russian? Why didn't Venezuela rig it? I don't know. Why is it Russia? Well, maybe Japan rigged it. They're smarter. Maybe China rigged it. Why does it have to be Russia? Maybe it was Iran. Give me a break. That's what I'm saying. Doggies? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was just doing some stream. Look at the doggies. <laughs> hey, get oh. down. Oh, that's okay. Well, a little Dalmatian. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't always want to like put people's dogs on camera, but kind of like showed them I was. 
You see the dogs come up to me? Little doggies. Good little Dalmatians. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much. Wait, this guy's going to come over to me. Maybe. Let's see what his story is. He's talking to himself. Got a new dice. He's nuts. He's that's delusions. The only way I'd film that guy more than that is if he was playing dice or Yahtzee or something. Dice guy's cousin, exactly. It's funny. I don't make fun of homeless people. You know that, right? But if you're gonna if you're gonna be talking, dancing and playing board games, I'm going to have to video it. All right, guys, have a great afternoon. Thank you very much. I'll see you tonight in Los Angeles. Stay positive. Uh, drive, you know, defensively, yet aggressively. I drive aggressively, yet defensively. I drive defensively, yet aggressively. Okay, I got to go pick up my mom. I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. Reporting live... For InfoWars. I said it. In the Cernovich News compound. Reporting live for Cernovich News. <laughs> reporting live for the Cernovich... Look at my... Look at the model definition. Reporting live for the Cernovich News channel. Stephen. Brody Stevens. Right here from Coachella. Cernovich always gets the LOLs. It always gets the LOLs. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I got to go pick up my mom. She's getting her nails done. And then, thank you. I feel good. Then, even though I'm bald, then we're going to go to Panda Express. Hi, I'm looking for my mom with my tilted pelvis. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, thanks. Tell mom we said we love her. I'll do that. LOL. Sir knows fake news. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> CNN has been proven to be fake. Cernovich, not yet. Not yet on some things. But you know what? It's all good. Thank you very much. I'm going to go see my mom. Thank you. Enjoy. Wait, we'll go in the shade. This is not over. Laters. You're here you're here with the uh, the post periscope. This is the post periscope. Uh, apparently it was a good scope from what I'm hearing. The scope was good. Everybody's happy. And uh, I want to say thank you. I thought I would get more pushback, and I didn't. Mom's still getting her nails done. I think she's over there. You're still here. You want to come back in a few minutes still. You want to wait some more, dry them some more? Will you want to go eat next door still? Yeah. No. Those are my keys. I have your keys. Where's my cane in the car? You didn't take it, yeah. I'll take the purse. Okay, I have your purse. Thank you. Got it? Oh, this will do that. 
there. So. Well, you're right on time. I'm right. Where'd you go? Where'd I go? Oh, I had to talk to some friends. There's a Starbucks in there. Yes. I had to talk to a friend. I don't care. So where do you want to go? See, they, they took out all that stuff. I used to sit, sit up here. I don't know. You want to go next door? Let's go to Panda Express. All right. Let's open up the door. Bye, Jackie. Bye. Bye. Let me see your nails. Don't touch them. I got the light. I'm gonna have you. Yeah, I had to talk to a friend. I had a business meeting. I had a business meeting. I don't care. That's fine. I, I gotta go and sit. All right, we're going to Panda Express. Can you hold the door for me? I'm gonna turn this off. Welcome. Welcome. You want to sit down and I'll no, order for you? No, I, I'll walk with you. You want a hamburger? No. Put that away. I don't like the way I look. You look great. Mom, your photo got a uh, was my most popular photo. All right, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Thank you. They love you. See, somebody said you're beautiful. Look at this one. Eye is bad. Uh, well, it happened. Who's going to pay for it? I will. Who will? She says you, they say your eyes are amazing. Uh, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Mom won. Give your mom a kiss. Let me say a kiss. All right, guys, good night. I'm not.